Hi guys, it's uh, Ray Newland here, the founder of Just For Keepers. I hope you're fitting well. And this question today, uh, a really quality question, is from an Ella Petit. Hopefully Ella, I've, I've, uh, I've pronounced your name correctly. And what she says, Ray, uh, what she's at, the question she said was, Ray, how can I get my defenders to listen to me? I shout and shout and shout, uh, and they just don't listen. Even though that they're, the, they're my friends off the field, they really frustrate uh, frustrate me when I'm actually playing. So I'm guessing that you want to strangle your defenders, uh, Ella. Okay. So uh, yep, I know I know where you are there. Okay. There's a few defenders I would have loved to have strangled over the years. Uh, yeah, but it is. It's very very common. Uh, you know, and I, I do get asked this all the time by goalkeepers. You know, Ray, how do I get my defenders? Uh, to listen to me now, Ella. I think you said that you were a, a U12 under 12. Uh, so again, try not to be too uh, offended if your friends don't listen to you, because what you tend to find, especially obviously the the younger players, um, they're that focused on the game. They're probably not even hearing you hearing you speak, because obviously what happens is the more older and experienced you get, uh, you can focus on the game and you're a bit more aware of your surroundings, but. When you're young, okay, you know, uh, you're that you know, you're that focused on chasing the football everywhere, or the, or the defenders are that focused on, you know, obviously, you know, where the ball's going, where the, you know, the the, the person that they're supposed to be marking's going. So they're that focusing on the game, you know, you could be maybe two inches away from them, and they're not going to hear you, okay. So again, please don't be offended from your defense, but by your defenders, especially when they're younger, because as I say. Uh, the chances are uh, they're not hearing you uh, because they're focusing on the game. And and again, uh, um, if they do hear you, um, if they do hear you, sorry, I'm sure they would would listen. Uh, but again, I know it's frustrating, and obviously the older you you, you get, uh, you know the defenders should listen to you. Okay, now I know that I've got a lot of goalkeepers who go no way, right, even as they get older, they don't listen to me. And again, that that's also very very common as well. Yeah, but to get round it, okay. So to answer your question, Ella, how can you get your defenders to to listen to yourself? You need to go to your coach or your manager, and ideally, obviously, with your parents. Uh, and again, so get your parents to watch this. So if you're a young goalkeeper, get your parents to watch this, and you go with your parent yourself. So whether whether or not you're a goalkeeper who's confident enough to go to your coach or manager on your own, what I'm going to say next, or you need to go to your parents uh, with your parents. Sorry, okay, yeah, I'll let you make that decision. But basically, you just say to your coach. Uh, or manager, look, you know, I'm getting a bit frustrated. Uh, you know, I'm I'm shouting. You know, can you, you know, uh, I'm shouting to my defenders. You know, can you please tell my defenders to to listen? Now, if your manager or coach has got anything about them, what they will do is when you're doing your training sessions, they'll say to the defenders, "Hey, listen, make sure when uh, I use you for uh, I use you Ella as an example because you you were the one that asked the question." So the coach or manager should say, hey, listen, when Ella shouts, okay, yeah, you make sure you listen. And then again, when you're doing training exercises, uh, when you're when you're training, uh, the, the, your, your coach, uh, when you're shouting uh, in your training, your coach should be shouting to your defenders, hey, listen to Ella, make sure you listen to Ella. Because as goalkeepers, we, we've got a different perspective. We can see things slightly different than our defenders, especially when you've got, you know, you, you might have your left back uh, over here, um, and you got the and they're watching the game and the 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 attacker is you know peeling away from them slightly okay yeah so sometimes you gotta shout to your left back you know you know hey John right shoulder and then you know obviously keep your defenders on on your toes because sometimes as I say goalkeepers we uh, we see things slightly different than, than than our defenders so hopefully your coach or manager got something about them and say hey look you know make sure you listen so again so when you're doing training exercises and you and you're you're shouting uh, instructions at defenders hopefully your manager or coach will be saying hey listen to Ella and again what happens then that gets that into the your defenders mind so when it comes to a game situation okay uh, and you're shouting okay the coach or manager will be shouting hey listen to Ella so that will that's just you know you're shouting and then the manager shouting as well so in a way by you asking your manager to help you you're sort of training your manager to train your defenders to listen to you if that makes sense okay yeah so that's what i would do at start off with now i know some again i know some of you might say come on ray my coach has missed it mr or mrs eagle they won't listen but all you can do is do the right things okay yeah if your coach and manager is not going to do that uh, nothing you can do about that unfortunately okay yeah so all you can do is the right things and say to the coach or the manager can you please help me to 
help the defenders, which is going to help the team. 95% of the coaches and managers hopefully should should listen, okay? One of the things that you should never do, Noella, okay? Uh, I know it's, so it can be very, very frustrating when your teammates don't listen to you. So what a lot of goalkeepers tend to do then is go, ah, oh, that's it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking to anyone. And then I'm not. What's the point? Of, what's the point of me talking if you're not going to listen? Then you don't talk at all. But that actually has a bad effect on yourself. Okay, for 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 different and many different reasons. Okay, so don't do that. Okay, so one reason what will happen as well is like the opposing. I know this might sound crazy, but the opposing players. Okay. If they see a goalkeeper being loud and shouting and pointing, okay, you look super. You, you will come across as confident to that opposing player. Yeah. If you're if you don't do that, if you're quiet, what's going to happen? You're going to come across as underconfident, okay. And what happens then is if the opposing team senses that a goalkeeper is underconfident, they'll shoot more at them. When they have set plays or corners, they'll try and bully the goalkeeper by standing on the toes or by, by trying to intimidate them. Uh, they won't do that as much if they know the goalkeeper's screaming and shouting because the opposing players will be thinking, well, this, this goalkeeper's crazy, you want to stay away from him or her, you know. So so again, you've got to be, you've got to be careful the impression that you give to your opposing player. Also as well, if you're quiet and a goal goes in, who's going to get the blame? The goalkeeper, okay, because most mums and dads watching the game, okay, especially at grassroots level, most mums and dads watching the game, most coaches and managers watching the game, by the way, at grassroots level, they don't understand goalkeeping, okay, yeah. So if you go quiet and the ball goes in, what's going to happen? All your defenders will go, you know, Ella, I'm going to use you again here, Ella, Ella, you know, you didn't shout, so you make yourself look to be a bad goalkeeper. So again, uh, you've got to make sure that you're screaming and shouting, okay? Yeah. So again, whether your defenders are listening or not, as long as you're shouting the right things, you know, get out, hold the line, move, you know, away, you know, you still do the right things, Emma. You still, you make sure you still talk because what happens is if you're talking and your defenders don't listen, okay, and a goal comes in, you shout away, okay? Everyone hears you away, and they score. The first thing you should be shouting, Ella, or even if they score, even if the attacker gets a, a header on the ball, for example, okay, you should be screaming to your defenders, you know, I shouted away, won't you listen? Okay, yeah, and then what happens then is the management and the parents on the line will go, yeah, actually, you know what, Ella was shouting there, she did shout away, and then they'll educate the defenders, hey, the goalkeeper was telling you there, okay, yeah, you know, make sure you listen to the goalkeeper, so you've got to just keep persistent as well, it can be very frustrating, Ella, okay, yeah, just keep persistent, keep doing the right things, because if you go into your shell and you stop being loud and you stop talking, okay, yeah, that'll have a detrimental effect on yourself, okay, yeah, so just keep Keep doing the right things, and as you get older, and as your defenders and teammates get older, okay, they'll start to listen to you more. And hopefully, if you've got a good coach and a good manager, like what I said before, if you'd approach them and say, "Hey, listen, can you please help me to help my defenders to help the team?" If they've got anything about them, they will help you as well. Last but not least, the only other reason why you've got to always keep on talking as well, Ella, is to keep your concentration levels going, okay? How many times have you watched a professional goalkeeper just talk all the way through the game, even though they've got nothing to do? And most supporters might say, why, why do they keep talking? There's, there's not, not nothing for them to do. I remember the, the games that I came off with, with the biggest headaches, is when I had nothing to do. And all I was doing was talk, talk, talk. Because what was I trying to do? Okay, yeah, I was trying to keep myself in concentration. I was trying to keep myself in the game, okay, because you never know as a goalkeeper, okay, yeah, you might not, not have anything to do for 89 minutes, and then in the last minute, you know, you might have a shot to save that can either win you the, uh, either win you the game or lose you the game. So you've got to keep your concentration until that final whistle blows. And the best way to do that is actually talk, okay, yeah. So make sure that you keep talking. And say, even if your defenders are not listening, okay, because this is the point I want to make, Ella. When you talk, yeah, okay, yeah, you're helping your defenders, but the reason why you talk is for one reason and one reason only is to help you as the goalkeeper, okay, yeah. Yeah, to help your defenders, to you know, to, to warn your defenders, but also it helps you to keep concentration. You've got to, it's so important to keep focused and keep concentrating in a game, especially when you've got nothing to do. As a goalkeeper, it's easy to shout bits and bobs when there's loads of things happening, okay, yeah. The trick is, it, can you shout things when there's nothing happening? 
your your end of that makes sense okay yeah and as you get older it will get easier okay you don't have to shout a load of nonsense you know it's only got to be one or two you know words that you might have to shout and again um, if, if you get enough questions asked I'll actually do another video on just the, the few words that you need to shout as a goalkeeper just to keep your defenders and yourself on, on your toes okay so it's import, so important that you communicate for, for you as a goalkeeper Ella okay so anyone listening make sure you're always talking as a goalkeeper and hopefully this video explains why it's important you need to, uh, to, to chat okay but again if your defenders are not listening to yourself okay uh, Ella don't worry that happens to 99% of goalkeepers okay yeah just try and approach the manager or the coach and see you know again fingers crossed you know if, if that coach has got anything about him or her they will work with you and the team to make sure as you grow as a team, as you get older, you get better, you learn to understand and concentrate more that your defenders will start listening to you. But in the meantime, okay, until that happens, until you start to get older and your defenders start to listen, please, please don't get frustrated and please don't stop talking because that will only affect yourself in the long run. Just make sure you keep talking as a goalkeeper to keep your concentration levels up and to always scare the opposing team if that uh, makes sense. And again, as I say, if a goal goes in, if the, if the line can hear you screaming and shouting, okay, no one can sort of ever blame you because they say, well, Ella was, we, we clearly heard, we clearly heard uh, Ella shout away. You know, we, you know, we, we clearly heard Ella shouting all those instructions. So again, the, the finger of blame won't get pointed as much to yourself if you're nice and loud, especially if a goal goes in before the defenders point at you, you point at your defenders, okay? Hey, I told you it was away. You know, next time, listen, will you stop? Listen, make sure you listen to me. Because that way then, because most mums and dads and most coaches at grassroots level don't understand goalkeeping. If they see you point the finger first, if the defenders point the finger at you first, they'll go, almost oh, be the goalkeeper's fault. But if you point to them first and say, hey, I shouted the way, why didn't you listen? They'll all go, oh yeah, God, they did, she, Ella did shout away. You should have listened, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, so again, uh, ho hopefully this video helps. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to chat about on the, on the topic of getting your defenders to, to listen to yourself, and especially communication as a goalkeeper, please drop me an email anytime uh, and I will do a video for yourselves. Please, again, please give me a, a few weeks to do it because I do get asked, get sent in an awful lot of emails, but I'll try my best to do a video within two to three weeks of getting your email. Okay, hope this helps. Have an amazing day or an amazing night, whatever you are, and all the best with your goalkeeping.